Well, good afternoon there, Patriots. Constitution Vet coming to you live in the field. I'm not in my classroom. Instead, I'm at a family friend's house because I'm dog-sitting another beautiful black lab named Gertie Girl. Hey, little Gertie Girl. So, fun fact. Uh, this was my first black girlfriend. Yeah, I met her before I met my wife. Well, I was dating my wife, but she wasn't officially my wife. She was my first love. Isn't that right, Gertie Girl? Yeah, you're my first black girlfriend. Yeah, you were. Anyways, so, hope you guys are having a great day. Main takeaway for today's video. If you're teaching your students in your home, you can cover core material, history, sociology, government, all that stuff. You can cover math, sciences, no problem. Even English. But don't forget to cover the emotional skills such as fear. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't instill fear, although that can be useful sometimes. What I'm saying is teach your students how to not be dominated by fear. You can cover this if you're covering, say, the, the Cold War, okay? But from modern day, it's, it, it breaks my heart, but I'm seeing a lot of conservatives on this platform fall victim to fear. This is what got us into all the crap in 2020. People just giving in to fear without combating it. So what do you do? How do you combat fear? How do you not let it take over your thoughts, what you say, your overall attitude? The main way to combat fear is do your research. Take the time. Look into what's causing that fear. Ask yourself, why is this causing me fear? Is this causing any anxiety, any stress? Can I control it? Yes or no. If I can't control it, then what can I do to mitigate the feelings that it's, it's causing on me? Prime example, things happening in our current legislature at the federal level. Things that you may not like, fair enough. But what do you do about that? Research, look into it, address that fear. The more you research, the more facts you get about that topic that's causing fear, the quicker that fear will alleviate. Now you'll still be concerned, fair enough, but if something happens that you automatically don't like, instead of just giving into that fear and raising all hell about it, stop, breathe. Do your research, get the facts, educate yourself on what's going on, okay? Then, all of a sudden you realize that fear isn't as bad anymore because you're educated, you know what's going on. You're not going to let other people thousands of miles away from you control your emotions, okay? So, if you're homeschooling, don't forget, teach your kids, do not let fear dominate your life. Be strong, be patient, and keep moving forward. Never surrender, never submit. This constitution vet coming to you live in the field with a beautiful black baby girl. Signing out.